<clears throat> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Loso 2.0, the business prophet himself. And today we're going to talk about um, being ready, really. Um, <clears throat> so imagine this, right? Think about, let's say, let's think about your significant other or maybe your mom or whoever, like, really important to you, right? Most important person to you? Someone kidnaps them. Um, let me think exact, exact simple take it, right? So I don't know if you've ever seen taken or something before. Um, but if you did, if you're not, I'm gonna kind of explain the story. So there's the actor. I forgot the boy's name now. I was going to call him John. I know his name wasn't John, but whatever. He has a daughter. She's a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? College student. She, um, ends up taking her, um, she ends up going like overseas for like some type of celebration or something. She tries to celebrate by going overseas or whatever. So when she goes overseas, um, she goes with just her and her friend. They end up, um, you know, it's just her and her friend. That's it, though. So then somebody comes. He kind of follows them, gives them taxi to the thing, follows them around, ends up ca- kidnapping the daughter and her friend, ends up kidnapping them. So when they kidnap her, like, you know, she knew her dad was like some type of CIA agent or some type of undercover dude, right, or something. I don't know what he was. He was literally a beast, though. So he she she ends up getting kidnapped or when she's getting kidnapped, she calls her dad on the phone and said, oh, dad, like, um, yeah, you know I mean, like, I, you, you know, uh, is somebody in here? Does I'm going to be taken or something like that? And then he's just like, be on the phone, describe the guy when he grabs you, just that and the third. She like, start explaining everything about him. And then after that, the guy, um, he gets on the phone and he's just like, I don't know whoever you are, but, you know, I will find you. And I will kill you or something. He's like, good luck or whatever. <laughs> he hangs up the phone. And then he ends up having to travel over there. So he didn't wait. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing was he didn't know much information. He kind of just knew the dude, what the dude wanted and stuff like that. But he didn't wait. He was just like, you know, it's time to go over there and get it. More of the story, though. You know, in the story, he ends up getting over there, finding the dude. He remembers his voice. You know, he ends up killing everybody. He starts going crazy. Like, I'm telling you, this dude goes, like, wild. Matter of fact, you'll make me want to rewatch the movie right now. Hopefully, hopefully it's on HBO Max. Um... But yeah, he literally goes crazy, but while beats, you know, start killing people, beating people up, finding his daughter and stuff like that. But as he goes along the way, he, you know, he starts getting information here. He starts hitting up people that he knew and stuff like that. He didn't have nowhere to start. He was just knew that one thing was important and that was getting to his daughter. So like, let's just imagine that situation with you though. You know what I mean? Like literally, you know, someone in yours get kidnapped or whatever, or, you know, you, you can't wait until the perfect moment, you know what I'm saying, to do something. If you really pay attention to the story, he wasn't even worried about the perfect moment. What he was really worried about was just his reason why, and that was getting his daughter back. You know what I mean? You figure out the how as you go along. It's not about waiting to the... And this is why you don't wait to the perfect moment. You don't wait to the perfect moment. For one thing, it does one thing. You're never going to ever be ready. Like, it's just a fact. You're never going to be ready if you keep trying to wait, 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 wait. Oh, when I do this, or after I do that, after maybe after I learn copyright and stuff like that. I know, for example, with me, I had my first copywriting client before I even knew what copy was. You know what I'm saying? It turned out terrible. It was supposed to be a product description. Now that I know about it, it was terrible. You know what I mean? So wait, wait, wait. You keep waiting. You're never going to do it. But you know, if you're wise, strong enough, you push it. So that's one thing it's going to do. Second thing is it's going to force you to take action. So when you take action, you're going to be able to, you know, take action. You're going to like, you feel me? You might mess up a little bit. Okay, good. Tweak it a little bit. Boom, put it back out there. Put action, tweak it a little bit, put it out there. Like, for example, with me, with my copy, sometimes I'll be, I'm so good at the storyteller part. Sometimes I forget that there's so many different aspects. So I might forget to throw the benefits really of it in there um, and then go into a strong call to action sometimes. Sometimes I just kind of skip to the call to action and it's not strong because I didn't build it up with the benefits of why you would do that. You know what I mean? So... That's another thing that, that it will do as well. It will literally make you go out there, kind of tweak it. You know, you, you are going to get embarrassed. But you know another thing, too? You know, I, I say it builds hard skin. It's going to build your hard skin because, like, all right, look, I made a mistake. People are going to make fun of you. Literally, just now, I, when I did that thing like that, I forgot to do the benefits again. I was like, dang, I did it, like, the other day. When I did that, some dude was just coming at me. Oh, um, hey, wow, you say it's funny. It's ironic because you talk about a strong call to action, but you didn't even do it in yours. Or something, something, something. You need to proofread your stuff, mind you. Copy is not about proofreading, by the way. It's strictly about making results and getting engagement or making money. That's what matters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, you know, do what you want to do. That's another tip I'll talk to you guys about tomorrow about with uh, mistakes in your copy. But yeah, so I'm just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, okay, cool. But you know, it's going to build hard skin. It's like, dang, I feel like kind of felt embarrassed a little bit, but it's just like, you're going to get used to that embarrassing. You might make a mistake. Okay, boom. 
Now I know I can fix that all up and then do it. So that's why I say, don't always wait till you're ready. I say, get ready. Just do it now. You're never going to be completely ready. So just do it. Just jump into the fire. You know, I kind of think about it like I used to say the same thing when I was talking to my friends about talking to girls. This is one last example. Um, I'll be like, you know, when you get into the pool, when I used to get in the pool, you know what I'm saying? I would go up to the thing. You know, the water's going to be kind of cool. You dip your toe in. You're like, whoo, it's kind of chilly. So it's like, all right, all right, come on. Give me, let's stay there for a little second. All right, let me dip my leg in. Okay. Or my ankle up to my ankle height. I'm, I'm good. Ooh, it's a little chilly. Get my feet a little wet. And then, ooh, and my leg. Ooh, didn't go in. Me, I'm, boom, just bust, go right into the water. And literally just get cold, as cold as a mug. Get used to it fast. And then... Yeah, I used to think that must be talking to girls too. Don't be like, okay, let me just do this. No, nah, no, nah. go in there and just shoot the gun. Like, just shoot your freaking shot. You feel me? And then, you know, kind of adjust as it goes. But yeah, that's, you see how you can kind of put it towards anything. You're never going to be really ready for anything. So the big moral of this thing is to literally just, you just take action. All right. So comment below something that you're going to take action on today, not wait for it to happen. All right. And that being said, 2.0 out.